you just take this guard right on off. Operate it like a real man. So I'm out in the workshop, getting ready to go to work. This is my drywall supply cabinet. So I'm just gonna grab this right here. This is all I'm probably gonna need today. I'm gonna bring some fiber fuse just in case. I also need some sanding stuff. So I'm gonna grab a sanding sponge, some sanding screens. What else am I gonna need? I'm not gonna need wood carving. I'm not gonna need a CB radio. I think that's it. I plan on doing some light touch-ups and then some spray texture. I thought I'd go a little more behind the scenes in the preparation for a video. A lot of this stuff, I me milling around the workshop trying to find things. Doesn't make it to YouTube, but I said I'd stick it in today maybe because I had everything already set up. I need to prime my repairs. I need to prime the entire wall that all these repairs are on. So make more sense once we get into the video at the house. Homeowner is going to be painting their kitchen. If you've got a wall that has repairs on it and you just turn it over to the customer and they go to paint it, those repairs are gonna flash. I've got about this much primer here. That's not enough to do a 10 by eight wall. Found some marquee. This is Home Depot's bare paint. And this is a higher end paint. Goes on real smooth. So I'm gonna pop this lid off and see if it froze. I don't think it froze. Hopefully it's still good paint. Uh, it was in my paint room, which is the, this is a two car garage and then there's a third bay that was added to it. That's where I keep most of my painting stuff. Oh yeah, mixing up real nice. This marquee paint's pretty thick. That actually didn't take much stirring to get uh, a uniform color. I went to go put my work boots on and something's wrong. I usually wear the ones on this side. Well, they got wet. I left them out on the back porch and it appears this leather shrunk and pulled the toe up. You can see how much higher that toe is than this boot. This boot here is my electrician boot. It has a, uh, I think these are rock roosters. It's got the composite toe, not a steel toe. Spray them down and put in a shoe thingy and that might get this upper area here to relax and go back down, but I don't know. No, it got kind of hot out. Hopefully I didn't remold the plastic. These are a pair of Knicks. These are a pair of rock roosters, and I'm wearing a pair of rock roosters. I've got several thousand dollars in boots, and why am I wearing these cheap boots? Should I do a video on cheap boots versus very fancy, trendy, expensive boots? Put it in the comments. Do you want the truth? Can you handle it? All right, first stop is we gotta get some diesel. I usually use Gas Buddy, but for some reason Gas Buddy's not loading the prices for the usual stops that I make. So we're winging it. I'm hoping for under 315. Last week, I got it for 289. Now this is my gauge setup in this fancy new pickup truck. On the left, I've got trailer brake, and I got my miles per gallon, boost gauge, and then that 20% is my diesel particulate filter. That's up to 20% because I've been driving around town quite a bit. Next week, going on a long distance camping trip with my 30 foot camper. That's what this truck's meant for, out on the highway towing. If you guys are interested more about this truck and those travels, the overlanding gear and setup, that I have for this truck and the plans. It'll be on the Super Secret Third YouTube channel. I want your opinion, you other diesel guys out there. I've been running Hot Shots EDC fuel treatment in every fill-up on this truck. And I was also using it on my old truck, but not till the very end when things started going wrong. What's your opinion on it? Keep it in a Ziploc bag right down here in the, uh, in the door. If you don't know what that is, go out and get yourself a real truck and you'll learn. All right, everybody, this is my project for the day. This area was a pantry. They had me remove it when I did the kitchen remodel. The task today is to get this wall ready for a color coat of paint. This will give you an idea of what I'm working with. Uh, this whole wall could be just skim coated. It's not that big. I don't like skim coating because that means I've got to sand. And when I have to sand, 
that means there's going to be a mess. We also got some strip screws that the apparently the customer has circled for me that they couldn't get out. Um, so I'm going to have to look at that. That's pretty pretty messed up. Some of them are anchors. Some of them go into studs, like this big sucker. My first method to get these stripped Phillips out is just to cut a slot in them. I could use a flat head to get them out and then get some pliers on them, get them the rest of the way out. Just wanna jump in to give you a quick announcement. The next video series, the next major project is gonna trigger the hell out of people. The first episode is on Patreon. It can't go on YouTube. I give a full explanation in that video. So after you're done watching this video, you can go watch that one. I'll put a link in the description. I will also put that link in the first pinned comment. You just take this guard right on off. Operate it like a real man. When we using this Klein screwdriver kit with the bit ratchet, I was thinking I wouldn't be able to get enough torque with a, a screwdriver on these big screws, but we'll see if they're actually into the studs. Alrighty. This one is coming right on out, even with this tiny ass screwdriver. That's why you call it a handyman. I don't know if they're all gonna be this easy. I thought this was a, an impossible job and they had to call in handyman. All right, well that was very easy. So I just cut a, a slot in the stripped out head and it came out real easy. Another one out. So that one was a drywall anchor. What I was trying to do there by popping it is reform it into a long piece of metal and not the squished down piece of metal. Because when you pull these out, you can pull out a chunk of drywall as well. I think I called it the man bathroom. It had a urinal in the bathroom, that remodel. I was working it in this bathroom, did a full gut. And something on the opposite side wall fell off onto a very, very, very expensive piano. And chipped the piano finish off of the piano. Well, I won't make that mistake again, so let's go check the wall. Next step is I'm just gonna shave off every loose debris. And oftentimes, well, all the time, around these anchors, you will have a uh, something that protrudes out of the drywall. They need to be whacked with a hammer to make a divot, then filled, and then textured. Right here, there's a bump there. It's hard to tell right here bump but I'm gonna smack that with a hammer this one here can definitely feel the bump uh, it's not gonna show up on camera just gotta take my word for it every one of these gets smacked in case anybody's wondering these drywall knives have a metal end on it why do you think that is when you come across a defect in the drywall you just smack it and fill it So here's another interesting thing. This wall, I think, used to house the cold air return or one of the cold air returns. It's on the back side, but it looks like it used to be on this side. I think I'm gonna take this out and put another grill up here. Most houses are under supplied with air return, so it couldn't hurt. <laughs> Next step is to mix up some 20 minute hot mud. 
not, I'm not even gonna bring it in the house. It's the powder mixture. You add water to it, mix it up. It can get kind of messy. I'm not gonna bring the powder in the house. I'm going outside in some landscaping rock next to a hose. Here it is, 20 minute hot mud. It's in the form of a powder. Like I said, it's super messy. Mix that with water in the pan and then bring it in the house. Not very thin, kind of thick, thickish peanut butter. All right, everybody, just picked up some oil-based orange peel texture. You want to know the difference between oil-based and water-based orange peel texture. They're right next to each other on the shelf. This is at Home Depot. We got the Homax wall texture, red oil-based. That dries between five and 30 minutes. Water-based dries between 30 and 60 minutes. I want to be painting within 30 to 60 minutes. So that's why I choose oil-based. Another weird thing happened to me. Everybody was like saying hi to me in Home Depot. I had like women, women looking at me with a big grin saying hi. I'm like, man, do I look good today? And I said, I know what it is. It's my new come and take it cock gun t-shirt. You guys out there looking for a lady, go get yourself one of these shirts and just peruse through Home Depot. It might work at Lowe's too. And you'll be getting dates. You might be wondering, what am I going to do to sand this? Well, it doesn't need much sanding. I'm going to use a wet sponge, just a tile sponge, and a smooth side. I'm going to feather out the, the edges. i got a little ridge right here, and it's gone. A little, a little circular motions, a little tedious, but uh, keep in mind, once you spray that texture on here, it makes everything just disappear. Okay, we're all masked off for the most part. I have to use some creative angles. A lot of times I put this in a sink filled with hot water just to thin it down, loosen it up. It helps it spray out with higher pressure. Just going around doing some blending. What'd you think of today's video? Did I do it right? Here's the definition of right. Did you exceed the customer's expectations and did you get paid? Did you exceed their expectations enough for them to want to refer you and use you again? That's it. Are they telling people at church? Are they telling their neighbors? Are they telling their family? 
That's how you know you did a good job. That's how you're going to stay in business for the next 10 years, maybe even the next 20 years. Let's hope none of us are doing this crap 20 years from now. How old will I be? I'll be 67 in 20 years. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Go check out the first episode of the next major project. It's on Patreon. It cannot go on YouTube. I explain why in that video. Goodbye.